Marilyn Manson has reportedly launched legal action against his ex-girlfriend Evan Rachel Wood. The tainted love singer, 53, alleges in a new lawsuit that his former partner conspired with her on-again, off-again girlfriend, Ilma Gower, to commit fraud and develop a conspiracy in order to defame him, according to Page Six. In the complaint, filed on Wednesday, Manson alleges that the Frozen 2 actress, 34, is guilty of intentionally inflicting emotional distress, defamation, impersonation and violating the Computer Data and Access Fraud Act. Lawyers for the singer, real name Brian Hugh Warner, allegedly claim that their client's ex-girlfriend never accused the singer of abuse during their time together from 2006 until 2010. that Ms. Wood didn't make any allegations against her former partner until 10 years after their split, when she met her on-again, off-again romantic partner, real name Ashley Gore, who they allege is a grifter who understood that an organized attack on Warner, spearheaded by Wood's own fabricated revelation of rape and abuse, could benefit them both. Mr. Warner's legal team claim that Ms. Wood's motivation for accusing their client of abusing her was to absolve her reputation for having a wild past. They allege that Ms. Wood and Ms. Gore created a fake email address to make it appear like their client had sent illicit pornography, and also claim the pair provided checklists and scripts listing specific acts of abuse for prospective accusers to claim against Mr. Warner. The lawsuit also claims that the Ms. Wood and Ms. Gore gained access to the singer's personal computer files, social media accounts and used his social security number without his permission. On Thursday, March 3rd, Ms. Gore took to her verified Twitter account to share several tweets. In one tweet, she wrote, Obviously, my art and my life have long been magnets for controversy, but these recent claims about me are horrible distortions of reality. In the legal documents, Mr. Warner accuses his former fiancé and Ms. Gore of sending fake letters attributed to a real-life federal agent and included a forged signature and fake phone number for that agent warning his accusers of being in danger. The complaint alleges that the FBI agent reference on the letter has stated she did not write or approve the note and claims she had no prior knowledge it existed. In 2018, Ms. Wood appeared in front of Congress in support of the nationwide implementation of the Sexual Assault Survivors Bill of Rights Acts, recalling her own experience of abuse at the hands of an unnamed abuser. In her testimony, the mum of one claimed the abuse she experienced had been physical, sexual and emotional, and that she had subsequently been diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder. After speculation led to many to believe Mr. Warner was the abuser, a representative for the singer released a statement in November 2020, saying, Unfortunately, we live in a time where people believe what they read on the internet, and feel free to say what they want with no actual evidence. The effects can be catastrophic and promoting non-fact-based information is wholly irresponsible. In February 2021, Ms. Wood named Mr. Warner as her alleged abuser via her Instagram account, wherefore other women also made allegations against the singer.
Ms. Wood is set to star in a new two-part HBO documentary regarding her allegations, due to premiere later this month. In a preview for the project, titled Phoenix Rising, the actress claims Mr. Warner allegedly violated her in 2007 during the filming of his music video Heart-Shaped Glasses, which she starred in. It's nothing like I thought it was going to be, she recalls in a clip taken from the documentary. We're doing things that were not what was pitched to me, we had discussed a simulated sex scene, but once the cameras were rolling, he started penetrating me for real. I had never agreed to that. I'm a professional actress, I've been doing this my whole life, I've never been on a set that unprofessional in my life up until this day. She adds in the preview, it was complete chaos. I did not feel safe. No one was looking after me. It was a really traumatizing experience filming the video. I didn't know how to advocate for myself or know how to say no because I had been conditioned and trained to never talk back, to just soldier through. Speaking via a statement given to The Guardian, Howard King, Mr. Warner's attorney said, even though HBO and the producers have been made aware of these serious acts of misconduct, they have thus far chosen to proceed without regard for the facts. But the evidence of wrongdoing by Wood and Gore is irrefutable, and this legal action will hold them to account. Ms. Wood claims she was previously scared to expose her former fiancé's alleged abuse. Mr. Warner has always denied all allegations of abuse and wrongdoing attributed to him. If you've been the victim of sexual assault, you can access help and resources via www.ravecrisis.org.uk or calling the National Telephone Helpline on 0808-802-9999.